Right lads, today we are playing on the Rock of Jan Mayen. Uh, it's a nice little secret, little hidden nation that you can release uh, when playing as Norway. Unfortunately, Norway is a subject of Sweden, which means that you are immediately a subject of Sweden. Which actually isn't too bad because it means we're a part of the Swedish market. As Jan Mayen, we have access to 5,000 people and a rock. This is our home. This is what we have to work with. We have uh, actually got iron and sulfur, well one of each, and we can fish and whale. But that's, uh, that's about it. In terms of aims, uh, my aim is to not die. It's, it's pretty ambitious, I know. But let's build ourselves uh, a port. It's a thousand people that need to be employed for that one port. Alright, uh, so generally I'm going to be trying to... I, I, I have nothing. I'm just going to go green grass campaign immediately because we're part of the uh, Scandinavian market over here. So if I can encourage, you know, some of these 2.79 million to come our way, that'd be great. Uh, we have Harold von Glucksberg. <laughs> Oh, that's just a stupid name. Who is a bigoted diplomat and a jingoist. We have no options for a decent government. We're just going to have to put everyone in charge. We have census suffrage off the bat, which is nice. We don't have serfdom. All right, we are going to need to go down to this as soon as possible. Because we're going to need some immigration. Meaning we need to be as tolerant as possible to encourage a wide amount of people uh, to turn up. We have a GDP of 2.3k as well. I mean, I mean, our literacy rate is not bad. Now people are going to be starving for a while. Let's uh, drop our wages. Alright, uh, let's drop our taxation level to zero. The difference between the maximum and bottom is £16. Uh, so I'll be sending that across in PayPal. Alright, well you can see that our population has grown. I assume that's because of migration. Alright, the agrarian party lost. That's not good. Need them to win. Uh, we do have no migration controls, which are really, really, really good. So I promise you need to go down to multiculturalism, and the only people like that are the intelligentsia. So we need to bolster them, but they don't exist in our nation right now. Really, no one wants a presidential republic? Okay. There's gonna be a lot of looking at this screen here, so uh, enjoy that. A uh, thousand people employed right there. Well, 998. And our GDP has halved. All right, we have 10 convoys. I'm going to use them to import tools because we're going to need them to create actual furniture. So here's what I mean. I can create like luxury furniture without like silk or any resources that we can't access as part of the Swedish market. What are, what relationship do we have? Are we a vassal or oh, we're a puppet? So what does that do? They can't start their own diplomatic plays. Okay, so we need to build up a large enough economy such that we can just dominate the, uh, the Swedes. Oh, God, this is not going to be amusing, is it? Jesus Christ. The, the, the gravity of the situation is just <laughs> dawned on me. I'm going to be sitting there looking at this stupid rock for four hours. <laughs> yeah, I don't want... You can't make me. Oh, God. I'm trying to make a joke as if it looks like anything, but it doesn't. It looks like a spoon. That's the best I've got. We're not public schools. All right, well, we've got egalitarianism. Yeah, uh, mechanical tools, because we're going to need those precision tools. With my gambit with the uh, furniture. This... This could go horribly wrong. I may have to restart at some point. Get modern sewerage because we're going to need that infrastructure and population. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We can get our standard living up. It'll bring more, he says, as, as standard living goes down. Uh, it'll get more people to turn up here. Look, oh, more people. One in five people are loyalists as well. And we're not making any money. But oh, pff, that GDP growth. GDP will have to number one in the world. What the hell happened? Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build more of these things. I think this is the play. I think this is good. Because we can facilitate... Okay, we need to import more. We don't have any that. Oh, any convoys available. Extra teachers. And mine first, person second. And... We're gonna take a while. Okay. The intelligentsia are a thing yet. They are now the largest party. Okay, brilliant. Bring them in here. Well, after this at least. And then I can I can start working on the old multiculturalism. That living went up to 16. I don't know why. Apparently living in this land is pretty good. Not as good as Van Diamond's land, but Jan Mayen's a great place to live. Everyone who's anyone works in uh, the furniture factory. I can't bother. I can't delay this any longer, fortunately. This is as good as it's gonna get. He's about to hit 100k. It's actually gone surprisingly well. Population has doubled. Don't know where we're fitting them in. People don't really want to buy our fancy furniture, but they want to buy our normal furniture. That, to me, would suggest that it's probably better to, to go and create non-luxury furniture, but that's not who I am. Or less from standard living, I'm sure. 50 authority. We don't. We have authority in spades. In fact, I should probably be promoting social mobility, national values, and encouraging our manufacturing industry. Russia's taken out Kazakh. Everyone's doing well. Well, half of them. I get four. Look at that. Water tube boilers would be great right now. Otherwise, researching. Modern sewerage. Why are we doing that? Make it better than this. Be smarter. Well, we're going communist. <laughs> Let's say it's been like four years in the game. Come on, 21%, please. We got this. 24%. It's gonna. Oh, for God's sake. Bump that up to level two, which is great, but 
we don't have the people to facilitate more growth. So I'm going to build another port, even though it's going to cost me a thousand people. Alternatively, you provide 40 convoys. If I upgrade you to this, it'll give me 200. And all I need in return is clippers. I'm going to assume that we have clippers. Oh my god, you now need 5,000. Any ideas, Cap? No, seriously, I'm, I'm all ears. I don't know if this is the correct choice because the port doesn't exactly give us that much cash. I need everyone working in the, uh, in the furniture sections. What else could we create that would generate value? Steel mills, there's coal and iron. Sure, let's go steel mills and let's just hope that Sweden needs steel. That's, that's, what, that's what I've come up with. That's my grand plan. Iron, fabric and tools, all things that I need. They're all very expensive. Oh, 29%, brilliant. Okay, so that opens up our borders to everyone. So now, hopefully, we'll have immigrants flooding in. We have the number one GDP per capita and the number one standard living worldwide by a decent margin. Yes, look at that. 156 immigrants last week. 159. Standard living is 20. That's a pretty high standard living. We have jobs. We just need the people to fill those jobs. Oh, you can see it. Tick up in world in real time. Look at that. 30.9, 31.1. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing it. We're going to have 12 radicals. I, I'm very surprised. This is, by the numbers, my most stable nation. Why am I building steel? I don't know. I'm very ill. <laughs> and yet, my vision is true. I've never seen clear in my life. I've not even got any laws I want to pass. This is just good stuff. 36.2. That is a straight up graph. All right, once the steel mill goes up and running, we can have a field day. We can find someone to export this stuff to. Who wants luxury? The Russian market, zero convoys. Perfect. That'll drive up the price. Export this furniture. Let's get it out of here. Anyone want steel? French want steel. Let's give them steel. This one factory's uh, starting to not do so well, which means that everything's going to hell. I'm going to subsidize it. I'm also going to subsidize the steel mill. It's a command economy now, lads. We're going to prop up our industries. Yeah, export to the Dutch as well. Suddenly, standard of living's uh, a bit bad. If we get water tube boiler, this could do us really nicely. Because it means that the amount of people that we need, 3,000 fewer. Oh. Although our population has gone up to 42,000. Home market access in Yen Mai, infrastructure. Ah, uh, you give me more infrastructure, you give me plus five. That, that saves us. That living starting to collapse, GDP stalling. It might not look like it, but we're on the uh, edge of an economic collapse here if I can't steer us out. All we need is no one in the world to produce what we produce. Unfortunately, steel, I thought would be in more demand than this, but... But no, apparently not. Then again, we do only produce five steel and we have 330 workers. If I continue to build things, even though we don't have the people, surely, right? Now, this steel mill venture might have been a mistake. I just thought that it would be a good idea. I wanted to branch out from our standard woodworking uh, ideals, but apparently not. We are we are seat builders through and through. No market access. It's an 82. Oh, no. I can't believe I didn't have a road maintenance already active. It literally helps our economy immeasurably that right, water tube boiler now we see kind of kind of see my nation <laughs> there's a cloud on top of it my thinking here was that we switch over to this because we don't need as many people it doesn't mean we need more coal i can always import coal as much as i don't typically want anything to do with it how do we still have a shortage we need another 15. ah so what's happened here is i think i facilitated uh the import and then immediately sweden has gone and used that to power their lights instead of you know, let's get rid of... Wait, that was a Danish one. Damn it. Danish ones are fine. Fuck the whole situation. Make a lot of money on this. All right, I don't mind about tax wastage. We really don't make any money off of tax waste anyway. Falling down in the rankings. We're now number two worldwide in GDP per capita or standard living. Silk Nam is now the number one. Meanwhile, the US decides that California is more important than continuous borders and has 0% market access. Okay. Interesting over here, we do have some decent state modifiers like fishing industry throughput, whaling industry throughput. And max level for the port is decent as well. We do need... The issue is we don't have any engines to power the railways. We have a steel mill. That's not enough. Especially considering even though I'm subsidizing it, uh, I can only get 300 people in. Or in my case, zero because I clicked it by mistake. Oh, so why can't I export steel? Because we don't produce any steel? Dude, if I'm going to get railways, I need, like, engines. I need steel. I need industry. The chief is about to pass a mill. It's not that... I mean, we've done surprisingly well here. Give more convoys. We just need more people in the, you know, more people. All right, there's railways, mechanized workshops. Sounds good to me. Are the laws I even want to implement? This is all stuff I'm pretty. Maybe getting rid of the monarchy. Sure, let's go parliamentary republic. That living goes up to the highest I've ever seen. Apparently, the plan to export furniture seems to have gone well. No, we're losing money right now. Yeah, okay, now we're starting to lose money because I'm pretty sure something happened. Furniture less valuable. Let's make it valuable again. Even at the cost of our own. If we can facilitate any more coal, that'd be wonderful. I do have an idea. You'd think if we went after the Danes that uh, you would help us? No, Sweden wouldn't help us. Oh, we don't have any. We can't. We're a puppet, not a vassal, so we can't start our own. Oh, God, it can only be independence. There's the maximum infrastructure and population. Working on. 
helps a little bit. Sorry, I clicked on ice and that's much too large of an island to be honest. We're actually making money again. Population is about to hit 100k. It's actually increasing ridiculously significantly. All right, mechanized workshops have been unlocked. Not enough qualifications. Well, but figure it out! Not exactly rocket science, is it? That's a beautiful graph right there. That's, that's good. That's good stuff. Not quite exponential, but you know, we'll do it. There's 44 guys. 50 guys that are unhappy with uh, with how things are in this place. It's literally the best place on earth. Okay, now we need to build motor industries. Because of as of right now, we can't do anything with these train tracks that we built. Well, the train tracks, we just don't know what to do, what to put on them, really. I just want to create oil. We've got whaling. Well, one whaling thing. Come on, 55%. Thank you. I hate an interest like over here. Ships, I probably could, and then I could do a colonization effort. Send our bears abroad. I have to bear with me whilst I try and figure that out. Oh, God, no coal. We need more people in the port. Look at that. We're now prosperous. 25. I've never seen that before on a, on a thing. All right, we're going to have to start making money again. All right, here we go. 20 weeks left until we have the infrastructure to build infrastructure. <laughs> the entire point of this. Steel's now expensive. Excellent. I'm going to produce more steel. There you go, that was a good move. The number one steel mill in the world. I'm pretty sure no one else produces steel. I just bit it really early. God, wood's expensive, hardwood's expensive, coal's expensive. No one's going to be producing engines. So the idea is that we can fund our own infrastructure whilst also branching out into another industry. I do not yet know if it will win. Win? Work? I don't know. Okay, the steel mill's actually making money now. Oh, that's okay. It give me infrastructure at least. I'm running out of coal again. Build another one of these. 123,000. We started with 5,000, what, like 15 years ago? <laughs> We've 20x in size. Everyone loves our bare furniture. A rotary valve engine, I think, would be quite useful. That's even fewer people that will be employed, but we're going to need even more coal. So let's take that. Get rid of some of the wood that's not. I can import even more coal. And anything that doesn't use any convoys can stay. I'm hesitant to, to get rid of this thing. It's supposed luxury furniture. Was a good idea for us to export. I think now I'm going to get rid of it. Maybe the there you go. See, look, now they're, now they're shipping in more coal from the Prussians. They're fully employed, huh? We went gantry cane. We went gantry cranes. We can probably get a shipping yard to facilitate an industrial port. How close are we from that? Uh, like two techs, okay. So one, two, and then we get the third tech. Okay, but we need ironclad as well. That's fine. We'll be in naval power. It's okay. I don't know. I don't know, how, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, we went to 100 legitimacy government, which is always nice. Yeah, we want trade routes best in the trade route. Why not? I don't know. Trade and conquer Tyrol and Venetia Treaty, but what the hell happened to Europe? Oh, Prussia snaked into Austria and Austria's lost Venice in the treaty port. Usually Austria's like GDP is pretty, uh, pretty good. What happened here then? Uh, I mean, it started to skyrocket and then they just got capped. Russian GDP has seemingly gone down since taking territory, so we're on par with Siam in terms of, uh, do I build another port? I think so. I think that's how we facilitate improvement of our people. We can buy and trade goods, you know? Get around 160, 170 immigrants. Nice on top of our already pretty good annualization growth projections. Thinking if we can import more coal, that'll bring the price of coal way down. And then we could also export more of, uh, the trade risk of convoys. Wood is expensive. I don't know. Um, let's get. Then we've got gantry cranes. Well, let's go for ironclads first, then gantry cranes, because it's going to take three years. And in that three years, I can build up uh, actual facilitation of this. I think now that I'm building another port, it's kind of made it redundant. It's probably good. All right, I just keep on failing upwards, man. I keep on making questionable decisions that keep on going well. Keep expanding this, I suppose. I don't know if I can go rotary. Let's just finish off a rotary valve engine. I'm so like schizophrenic in my country direction right now. Sea camp has been taken out by India. Nice. Piers, Great Britain has colonized Japan. <laughs> Standard game, man. <laughs> oh, no. Theory has been chopped up into pieces. I want to see if Austria's going to bounce back. Yep, they bounce back. Pretty handily as well. Damp out monarchism. All right, we did it. Got rid of the monarchy. A while ago. Attempt to go free trade. That day we're, 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 we're bears doing business. Business bears. We're doing business. How much do we make from tariffs? Like a thousand. That's fine. We, we, we make a little, we, we sell a little. It's fine. We'll make our money off the of taxes. Because this way, we we can make use of our larger amounts of... Plus, it's just a different way to play the game that I don't usually play. Oh, God. We're on point coal. Oh, God. We did it just as we got free trade. Oh, boy. Oh, no. We need coal. Sell, sell, sell. Plus 10 points per trade. I us export some of these. I don't have any steel. Export engines. The Austrian. Sounds good. So, uh, really fun thing keeps happening. I mean, I'm not talking about me uh, losing copious amounts of money. That's that's pretty standard for this game. Uh, what I mean is, uh, it's been a while. I've been uh, slowly increasing our uh, GDP and just sort of generally making sure things are running properly. Uh, unfortunately, what happens now may shock you. Pan-nationalism gets researched by the Swedes, and they decide to do something a little bit crazy. 
It'll only, here we go. I've gone pan nationalism because the Swedes have it. So there we go. It means only a couple of seconds later. What does that do? You might ask. Well, what's just occurred to me? The Sweden forms Scandinavia, which annexes me. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to release Jan Mayen as a city state independent. Why are all my buildings? I spent hours in this and you're telling me you just spooked my building. What the hell are you on about? They were there when I left. So you're telling me when I hit play and I get annexed, Scandinavia just without doing anything, not, I haven't hit on pause. No, it, all my buildings are there, but when I release myself, it just eats all my building and kills everyone apart from the original population. What do you mean? Hey, what if this time I release myself as a subject? That Stop it from clearing everything out. Welcome to the panicked portion of the video where Lath tries to figure out how he can save the hours of his life he's already invested. Or at least was my own subject nation. Moves all the buildings. Ha! Ah! Why do all the buildings get destroyed? I'm fine with being a subject, but why does it destroy all the buildings? It doesn't do it anywhere else. Okay, in which case we're gonna have to do this. Well, I know this was coming out of built up a backdrop of cash instead of debt spending. I'm gonna make a play for our own independence. Huh, the Russians will get involved. If we give you a Western Norwegian treaty port. That works for me. Wait, why is there a front here? I'm an island, you have to invade me. You can't just, you can't just exist on a front. I know, I'm worried too. What the hell is this front? How do I get annexed? I'm in an act of war against them and they could just annex me? Oh, this game's so broken. What do you mean? I'm fighting for my independence so they can go, no. Oh, let's run it back. Please back down. Here it goes again. Ah! <laughs> oh God. Fortunately, Jan Mai has been prepped for this. They've had uh, sleep agents this entire time. So we're free, but our GDP has shrunk to a third of its original size. Now, let's just go ahead and trade with one that we were trading with before. Hmm. There's, there's nothing we can do to stop our economy from collapsing here. Just so you're aware. Become a protector of Austria. Okay, that's helped our GDP. Now let's rescue it. We have a shipyard. All right, so we have recovered. Um, I will say that the uh, Austrians keep on trying to damage relations with me, despite the fact that I'm their protectorate. Don't know why. Britain's getting taken out by something. Uh, oh, that's that's us. The Austrians are just destroying. What? Why? They wanted to annex Bundelkhand, and you you took that personally. You could Austria. You could white peace. You don't want anything out of this deal. What are you doing? You don't have to be here. God, I'm locked in with a monster. However, this monster is actually very profitable for me, so I can't complain too much. Mainly because they have coal. Oh, look, it's revolutionary Quebec. So I'll just maximize my... It's important more wood. Yo, look how much wood the Serbs have. We've got free trade, so it's literally no skin off our back. Uh, tools. I don't have any tools. No one else has any either. Which might indicate that, hey, we should do that, but we're focusing on high value stuff. Oh, let's trade with the Tunisian. I haven't done a Moroccan GDP check in a while. Part of the Portuguese market. 2.49, kind of lame. 1.67, even worse. Who have you been attacked by? The French. Yeah, it is. Puppet Tunis. Oh, God. Good luck, buddies. Oh, good luck, friends. Do we need to restrict child labor? Yeah, I can do that. Migration. 435 per week. Here we go. There we go. Now we're actually going to have to start constructing a bit more aggressively. One day this number's not going to be zero. I know oh, what a day it'll be. Go for craftsman sewing. Because again, go for those luxury goods. You know how it is. The end mine, we only produce the highest of quality. When you see made in Yan Mayan, you know that you're now broke because you've bought something that you cannot afford. There we go, start making some money again. So we have authority, promote national values. How should we be constructing? I think I wanna go munitions. That's typically quite hard to get the hold of. Uh, and I am already doing some stuff with, which it doubtless has put me on some sort of list now, said that, why is it taking so long? Okay, we need a construction sector. I've put it off for long enough. I've done all this without building a single construction sector. I'm very impressed. All right, we've got restricted child labor and we have ourselves construction sector. Sometimes you gotta subsidize it to get it going, and then it'll start making money of its own accord. Fill the timer. See, we import silk from anyone. Oh, big dog Ching. Who makes like that? That's why I, I called him that. I still don't have my head wrapped entirely around the uh, the system of, uh, of trade and how it works in terms of like facilitating trade into a market when you're not the market leader. Do you reckon that they'll help me take out Northern Norway? I don't even know if I wanna leave the island, you know, because I think it's more amusing to just build up this one island and have a, I wanna get skyscrapers. It's really gun for that. We have the number 34 largest GDP. Whereas the population increases, that becomes increasingly in reach. That's as good as Hess Castle. I mean, to be fair, Hess, Hess Castle's done really well here. We're like on par. They actually have doubled my population, but that's that's quite good. Oh, where'd I go? <laughs> the larger GDP than Sokoto. So GDP for capitalists we want to stay on top of. Hess Castle's half our uh, on there. Everyone is ridiculously wealthy. Still haven't figured out what this looks like. Maybe the tip of a spear if it was really poorly made. Mildly looks like Loki's stuff. Looks, you don't tell me what it does look like. It looks a lot like a random ass floating bit of rock in the ocean. I'll uh, peel back the curtain a little bit. 
you see like off the edge here, where you can't see anything? Uh, when I first started playing Power Ups games, I was 12, 10, 12, something like that. That gave me a massive existential crisis, just like staring off into the abyss, being like, what does it all mean? I may have developed my nation, but what, what purpose does that serve? It was, yeah, Beamer's knee inputs could shorten. Well, isn't it convenient that I uh, have one of those chemical plants that you're so desperate for? Drill boom, wonderful. Or we can get more than living, I want. Trade unions are no longer powerful. Oh my god, Margaret Thatcher, she's back. Right, who wants guns? Right, who wants ammo then? Come on, step right up. The French want it. Sell to the French, give some to the Prussians. Like that price. Okay, so we've got us a nice bit of throughput going on now. We just need to uh, increase our number of chemical plants. We'll be good to go. Oh, that's convenient, isn't it? Great feature of this game where, uh, see over here, Northern Norway's being occupied by Sweden. That translates directly into devastation for me. So I'm now dying on this rock here that has nothing to do with anything over there, which is great. We're part of the same state. It's affecting everything I do. So the issue we're starting to get now, and have had for a while, uh, which is why our population isn't like skyrocketed, is because we have uh, overpopulation, uh, which is kind of dumb, but basically means that it's, it's in relation to our arable land, right? So we only have a certain amount of arable land, therefore we're technically overpopulated. I want to try and fix this and enter into the last phase of Jan Martin's uh, attempts. Because we're technically, as you saw, Oh god, that's so much. Okay, we're gonna be for hours. Uh, we're technically uh, partly uh, part of the um, Northern Norway state. That's a split state, so I kind of want that state. And yet mine has a really interesting color, like bright green, that I want to see. So maybe we start invading Europe. Now that's something I've never seen before. What the hell are you? And how did you get here? Not even gotten halfway the damaging relations to the point where... I can actually declare war. Oh god, this entire like challenge thing was a mistake. They were trying to like push my economy as hard as possible by subsidizing everything, waiting until it was about to crash, then putting all the taxes on high. The Austrian market is massive. <laughs> I didn't realize how big it was. Also, I don't know how Hyderabad got independent. I, I, it's, the world is weird. Part of the Austrian market. I'd, uh, I'd love to try and improve relations with them, but they've expelled my diplomats. <laughs> For no reason, they're domineering. What does that mean? You're, I'm already in your sphere. Natural subject. I'm already a subject. Oh, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, there's no way I survived this. Now the number 25th economy, which is pretty cool. I'm rising at the round decently enough. On, the, on par with Bavaria, but the 10th of the population. And GDP per capita is, I mean, it, it, the gap's been increasing constantly. Realistically, there's only one thing left to do. Interestingly, uh, Oregon also controls this side of things as well. I don't know how they got hold of that. Spain's advocating for regime change in me. Also, we do have this. Uh, I have a, a decent enough navy. The, the downside is, how do I explain this? This ocean that you see here doesn't actually exist in the way that you think it does. Uh, it just sort of is an illusion. Everyone's just marching in here now. God, everyone's pulling up over there. Yeah, like I said, um, I, I invested in a navy thinking that that would matter, but it but it doesn't because this isn't. You don't understand. This isn't a uh, a sea. I can only imagine it's because it's part of the same state, and so there's like a, an invisible land border. But I'm like, look at that. They, they can invade me directly. They're literally fighting on my island, and my impeccable navy. Uh, can't do anything to stop it. Let me get rid of my other naval bases then. What the hell? The Australians landed in... <laughs> they landed in America. They did invade the British earlier, to be fair. I think we're winning this war. In my humble opinion, anyway. I'll get rid of my non-functional... Get rid of my no, uh, non-functional naval bases seems to result in me losing prestige. That's fine. I don't really care about being a minor power. Well, to be fair, being a minor power is pretty cool. We can get uh, something like this. Trade deals with the chain directly. We're part of the Austrian market, so. Right, that is terrible defense from you, Spain. What are you on about? My guy, are you good? Oh, we're getting there. The Austrians have actually gone insane in this game. I can't believe they invaded the British and also the Americans. I'm, like, the AI doesn't typically do naval invasions. Uh, this isn't the new patch. This is, you know, the standard one. Uh, for those of you curious as to why I'm not playing on the new patch and I'm instead sticking to the one, uh, well, this one, uh, it's because uh, I, well, firstly, Virginia Treaty Port, nice. Um, I want to do things on release because that's what everyone's going to be experiencing versus like betas and that sort of stuff. So I'll give my full thoughts on the new patch when uh, when it comes out. I'm not feminism. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. No, oh, we can't. Okay, well, we tried. <laughs> a history of the patriarch in a nutshell. It's <laughs> uh, funny. How much GDP does Northern Norway have? One million. Ah, there we go. Finally, Northern Norway shines like never before under the tenure of Jan Mayen. Schleiswig wants a defensive pack. Of course, I will protect you with my life. 
just assimilated into uh, them into our own. We've got iron mines now. Our population's increased a bunch, like, you know, a couple hundred thousand. Actually, our GDP went up by like five million. Rather impressive. Go ahead and uh, get all this good stuff. Steam trawlers, make it publicly traded. Whaling stations here. Well, this is all the stuff that we would have had on our island. Uh, well, we had the basics for, if that makes sense. What a time to be alive. We maintain our prosperous status by a decent margin. Our GDP per capita status by an even larger margin than before. The Spaniards wish to uh, perpetuate a regime change, but here we go. That should be the white piece. Uh, Austria? <laughs> Austria should be the white piece. Austria! <laughs> Buddy, with everyone, no one else wants to be in this war. There are no active fronts. Oh my god, there is. <laughs> You're trying to naval invade. Right, path of socialism. There we go. Right. And that is where we'll leave it for today, ladies and gentlemen. We have created a beautiful society. Uh, also, we've actually got a really good uh, economic base now because we have ourselves uh, some mines and such and some logging camps, as well as a lot of arable land, meaning that migration... Oh, we're getting 1,600 per week. So yeah, really, really good place. That's the main reason I want to take uh, Northern Norway is because the arable uh, location. Wouldn't be disinclined to continuing this and then uh, conquering as much territory as I can. There is uh, a ways to go with this campaign. We need to get free from the Austrians. We need to uh, take Scandinavia for ourselves and in fact, maybe even form it uh, and push on from there. We, like I said, we, we end up with a, uh, a really nice economic base uh, and and good educated population, um, but we might have to turn communist. Uh, either way, we are now in the 18th world global power. Our GDP is number 15th. Uh, we're on par with Brazil, despite not even having a million people. So yeah, if that's something you want to see, if you want to see me conquer and form Scandinavia's Yan Mayan, then do let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe so I know that there's an interest. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's it's literally right there.